Let me get some heat on this. And I'm gonna start some onions and some garlic that we're gonna do for Eva's potatoes. Okay, a little olive oil. And we're gonna put a little butter. Why the butter and olive oil combo? Well, butter is great flavor, but the olive oil can handle the heat. And since we're doing a little bit of a long saute on this, uh, we're gonna need it to balance out. Let's see here. One big onion, a couple cloves of garlic. And watch out that that heat doesn't go too fast. Now on this, and I talk a lot about with onions, you know, I'm gonna be doing a white onion for this, but my favorite is really the red onion. Now, one of the pieces, when we start peeling off the onion like this, you see you get that outer skin or you get the, the ends of the onion. Take the time and really make sure that you're just getting the center because it gets really tough and you'll find that one piece that you know, never breaks down. That's why I like to really cut it clean and peel off as much of the outer layer as I need to where it's really nice and tender. Now, give this just kind of like a quarter inch chop. These can go down. I'm putting these in early like this because it was starting to brown a little bit. And you can hear it, it's starting to get hot and starting to pop a bit. When you put something into the pan, it's gonna cool it down. There we go. I'm not gonna put really a big, deep, rich saute on these. What I'm gonna kind of do is let them saute till they're like translucent, but we're gonna be adding the potatoes in there in a second before they can actually brown too much. Okay. There we go. Now the Eva potatoes, that goes down. Move these around a bit. That water's boiling, just begging for the green beans. Let me hit a little bit of garlic in this. Now I don't have to really mince the garlic. Just a little bit of a chop will be fine because it's gonna spend enough time in there to really bring out the flavors. In, in, okay. Uh, pop in a little bit of uh, salt here. Here's the piece I need to work on now. I got four potatoes, and what's gonna happen is I'm gonna kinda box cut them. And I'll show you what I mean. Edge, edge. Like this. Hit them with a peeler, take off the, the dark sides. All the, all the skin there. Now you could peel them ahead of time if you want, but since a lot of those pieces aren't gonna be getting used, okay, like that. Since a lot of them aren't gonna get used, I cut them first, and then just come through here and do about a quarter inch slice. Now what I'm gonna do is nestle these in, kinda of put them a little bit on a slant like that. Nice and pretty. Go in on this side, do the same thing. Now we're going to steam poach saute, if you want to call it, inside of this pan with some chicken stock and some white wine. So I'll deglaze with the white wine here in a second. And I learned how to do these potatoes. Funny thing about these, I learned how to do these potatoes when I was in college. We kind of would do them a lot in, uh, for banquet service. And I never knew how they made them. I just would go home and try to make my own style. So this is kind of my own rendition. And I named it after Matt's wife, Eva. So I thought we'd put the whole Pintor family for dinner tonight. Okay, there we go. Let me hit this with a little bit of Salt on top, crack black, and then for a little bit of color, because we got a lot of the same color in there, I'm gonna hit it just with a touch of paprika. There we go. Right on top of there. Not the super hot paprika, we're not talking the Hungarian. Just for a little color and a little smokiness. Okay. There we go, I'm clapping for myself. Deglaze a little Sonoma County's finest, little uh, white wine. Try to get that low sodium chicken stock if you can. Then you get to add the salt like you want to. Sometimes you get the chicken stocks have so much salt in them. So there, we're gonna cover this up. Let it go for like 20 to 30 minutes until the potatoes are nice and tender. <laughs> 